clean y'all computers, y'all. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's PJ the Great. I hope you're having a super beautiful day, and it's back. This is my friend Jeanette's PC here, and I built this for her like almost two years ago. Yes, almost two years ago, and um, she's only had two issues with it. Uh, the first issue is um, we thought we had a bad power supply, but it was just a bad power plug. So we replaced that and now it is back here in the shop because she says that her, I think her niece did something on here and now nothing works on it but YouTube. She can't play her music on here anymore. She can't play games. And so this is software related. So we're gonna take a look at it and see what's going on. But um, as you can see from the intro, like I said, Clean y'all computers, y'all. <laughs> I want to clean this up a little bit more. I mean, I just got the, I had to get the dust out of here because um, I'm really allergic to pet dander. And she's got a little mini farm going on at our house. So that's not an insult. She really does have a little farm going on at her house. So let's get this hooked up and let's see if we can determine what's going on. Okay, let's power this thing on and see what we see. Wow, it's taking a long time to load up. It's on the SSD too, so it really shouldn't be taking this long. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it's taking a really long time to load up. Okay, so we finally loaded up. Why was it taking so long? Let's see what her storage situation looks like. She hasn't used any of her one terabyte hard drive I installed in here for extra space and barely half of the 240 gigabyte SSD. Wow, that's amazing. She says she has music on here. I don't see any music. So I have all that link into her hard drive to save space here. So she says, what kind of games does she have on here? Let's take a look. Um, I forgot to hook it up to the internet, so let's do that. So first things first, she says games don't work anymore. One drive isn't signed in, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what games she has on here. Why is this thing so slow? Yeah, it's not even... Hmm. So yeah, it's not even... I don't know if you can see that. I'll click in here on the Windows tab down there to check out the games and it won't even let me get that far. So it's definitely something software related that's wrong here. And I want to try and solve it without resorting to reinstalling Windows. I'm going to power this thing down and start it back up. See what happens. See if it starts up slow again. There's, def there's something going on in the background of the software I can tell. reason why it's taking so long to load into Windows because it really shouldn't be taking this long. Not on an SSD. I don't care if it is a two and a half inch. Should not be taking this long. All right, so we're in Windows again. I want to try and get into Task Manager. Yeah, it's, there's something going on in the background. Let's try and get in there using Control Alt Delete. I don't see anything unusual. Only three percent. It's being used for the CPU. Why is our RAM speed not running at 2400? That needs to be fixed. All right, let's see. Is this still not working? No. Nope. Let's see if we can get on the internet. All 
I'm looking for this software called Malware Bytes. See if we can get this installed. All right, it says it's ready to scan the computer, so get to scanning. All right, so we got Malware Bytes premium trial in and we're scanning it to see if there's any malware that's causing this and this should take a hot minute so we'll be right back after these messages the scan is done there's no malware on here this is the weirdest thing i've ever seen and because it's not getting any volume there's something going on in the background I know the BIOS needs to be updated, pretty sure, and uh, two thousand nineteen. I thought I updated the BIOS on something's really going on weird here, guys. Because <clears throat> when she had the issue with the power cord, I'm pretty sure I went in and updated her BIOS and I know I updated it. I didn't build this for her three years ago. It was two years. So that's weird. Let's get XMP running here. So yeah, that's really weird to me. Uh, the one good thing about routing all your pictures and your videos and music and all that to a different drive if you have access to a different drive than your OS drive is that when you run into situations like this where you might have to reinstall Windows you won't lose any of that it'll be no need to like copy it over to another drive and save it there before reinstalling Windows But something is wackadoo with this system right now and I don't know what it is. It's like it won't even let me hit. Uh, let's close out of that. It won't even let me hit the start menu. It's like I'm hitting the start and it's nothing. I like the volume doesn't work. Nothing works. Everything is just locked. RAM is running at the right speed now. Now something wonky has happened to this system. Like all the CPU is not even being used. So there is something on here that's causing this thing to freeze up. I'm gonna try some other things. I'm gonna end that task in that one from AMD and I want to do Norton I hate Norton I don't know <laughs> I would never use Norton antivirus I put a vast on here for her because I didn't know if she wanted to actually pay for Norton or not I would actually rather use Windows Defender than use Norton. I know a lot of people don't like McAfee, but I love McAfee. Uh, all these are at 0%. System, system interrupts. It seems like we just have a corrupt version of Windows. Something happened. Okay, I noticed that documents is Not where I had it. Can't move the folder because there is a folder in the same location that can't be redirected. Let's see if I can get this into safe mode. Please hold. A few moments later. All right, that didn't work and then let me get into safe mode. Looks like we're doing a fresh install of Windows. Well, at least I moved all our pitch. She really doesn't have a lot on this computer. It's crazy, but this is so weird. I have no idea what could be causing this. Windows Defender. I don't see anything unusual. Saved on here. 
Let's try before I give up and reinstall. First, let's update our chipset driver because I know that's out of date. Maybe that might help. First, we'll try that. Then we'll try a BIOS update. If neither one of those works, then we're gonna have to reinstall Windows. And if any of you have experienced um, something like this before, leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know if I'm giving up too fast, if updating the chipset driver and updating the BIOS doesn't fix this. Is there another fix that you know of that I might not know of? All right, chipset drivers want to install successfully. <laughs> Let's restart it and see what happens. Got up to date chipset drivers now, but that did not help. All right, next. Let's update the BIOS. All right, system is rebooting after the BIOS update. If this doesn't work, fresh install the windows. It's the only cure. The only thing I can think of is something was deleted that shouldn't have been. That is very rarely you'll see a BIOS update cure uh, a software issue. But I figure I'd give it a shot. I can already tell that didn't do anything. Cause it's doing that same flash shit. Close. And it's not letting me in there. Yeah, we got a corrupt windows on our hands. Yeah. This Windows is corrupt. You see that? I can't even get to display settings. I can't get to personalize. We got a corrupt Windows on our hands. So let me salvage anything that I can from her C drive because we're going to have to reinstall Windows. All right, so we have to do a fresh install of Windows. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think that was the right way to go. I, in my opinion, I think something was deleted on here that shouldn't have been deleted. And it was at a point of no return. I tried malware bytes. There was no malware on it. I couldn't run the antivirus. I tried updating the chipset driver and updating the BIOS as well as making the RAM run at XMP profile nothing would work so we had to reinstall windows but like i said if you think there was another route that could have been taken let me know in the comment section down below me personally i think it was the point of no return luckily she really doesn't have a lot on this computer and i was able to salvage like the main things that she has was like photos so thank you for coming along for the ride if you like the video do me a favor give it a big old thumbs up if you hated it you can give it a thumbs down but no matter what you do don't forget to click that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you'll be notified every time i upload new videos and i'm gonna wrap this up clean it up a little bit more <laughs> and then get it back to her until i see you in the next video this is pj the great saying audi 5000 g